What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Let's just make sure we got everybody in here. This is gonna be amazing. Thank you everybody who is on right now, who's already here. Oh my goodness, this is my first time going live in this group. It is an honor and it's a pleasure to be here. My name is Kadira Muhammad. I'm the owner of SucceedingWithSystems.com and I'm here to be teaching you all about the power of automation. Now, I'm gonna give it a couple minutes. Just wanna make sure I'm all good in here. We gotta share this out to everybody that we know so we know that we're about to save some time and we're about to make a lot more money. So let's, who doesn't wanna do all those things, right? So let me get up in here. We're gonna go make sure we're all good in the group. Let's get it in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you everybody for coming on, everybody who's already here. Again, my name is Kadira Muhammad. I'm the owner of SucceedingWithSystems.com. It's a pleasure to be here in the Women Helping Women Entrepreneurs group in the Facebook group. I love it here. It's amazing to be here. I don't want to take up you guys' time because I know the power of time. I see we got a couple people who are live right now and who are watching with me right now. I would love you to just comment below. Let me know your name. Let me know what your business is. Let me know what you do. I'm just so curious to see what everybody does in these groups because I am a fan of everybody who's here. Now, I want to even go straight into what uh, the topic of this video is today. How you're going to be able to save 500 hours of your own time gain back over $28,000 of your own money that you've been losing, okay? And how you can be able to triple the revenue you're making right now. Now, that might seem like super bold claims. It might be like, why, how am I gonna be saving all this time? How am I gonna be able to gain back that money? How did, how did you know, Kadir, that I was losing that money? It's actually really, really simple. See, what I do, I'm a systems implementation engineer, and my goal is only to help you all save time and make more money by making it as easy as possible to do both of those things without hoping and not and praying and without having a plan. You're going to be able to do all of those things without worrying about where your next check is going to come from, without worrying about how you're going to be able to continuously make money from the people you're already making money with. One of the things I know from growing entrepreneurs, from people who are here, from people who are trying to start businesses and trying to start companies. The most difficult part about this entire industry and about running a business is that you start to run out of time before you start making more money. It becomes incredibly difficult to be able to grow when you don't have the time to really invest in everything else. What do I mean by that? Most of the time, our time is spent in a bunch of mundane admin tasks, things that could not just be hired out, but things that really just shouldn't be on your plate at all. It shouldn't be in your business at all. Okay, this is responding back to a bunch of emails, customers, and getting feedback. Um, it's trying to go after new leads, but you don't really have a systematic way of being able to do that, right? When you don't have a system and you don't have a process to do anything, you struggle so much in being able to make that happen. Now, most of us have one to maybe three of these problems. I'm going to list them out for you, okay? Maybe you're a new entrepreneur and you have so much on your plate because you're not just an entrepreneur. You're a mom, you're a wife, okay? You're a daughter. You have all these other roles and you already got 3,000 hats. Now you've just taken on 3,000 more straight from your business. So now your time gets wrapped up in being a mom, in being a wife, in being a daughter, okay, being a caretaker, maybe you're caretaking for your, your mom and your dad, and now you're trying to run a business. Your time is, is stretched thin, it's stretched so thin. If that feels like you, I want you to put a one in the comments right now. If you're watching this live, even if you're watching the replay, if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay in the comments so I know this was helpful for you. If you're watching live right now, put a number one in the comments if that's you. You're a new entrepreneur, you have your family to help, uh, you have your family that needs your help, your mom, your wife, you're taking care of your parents maybe, and you're just stretched so thin between doing your domestic and doing your other personal life stuff and trying to business if that feels like you put a woman in the comments the second way is when you are trying to do this maybe you're making uh, three to five thousand dollars a month okay maybe you got a couple clients maybe you're a coach you're a consultant you're some type of service-based professional you're making three to five maybe even ten thousand dollars a month already but 
now you got all these clients and all of these people who are coming in and you still stress thin. I, ironically enough, you're making more money. The money's coming in. That's not necessarily the exact issue. You're getting some money to come in, but you're not able to go the way you want to go. You're not able to scale the way you want to scale. You're not able to hire correctly. You're not able to have a real process. Everything is still in your head. You only have maybe one to two team members. You're still a wife. You're still a mom. You're still a caretaker for your mom and your, your own mom and dad, right? But now you have this business. You might have a couple of people on your team. Maybe you hired a virtual assistant, but you're still not able to scale. You don't know what's going on. You don't know why you're not able to get new revenue in. And then number three, this is somebody who's probably in the 10,000 to maybe $25,000 range. And these people, they definitely have one to two team members, but there still is no way to scale. And more importantly, you're in the cycle of starting and stopping. Okay, now the start stop cycle can also happen with people who are making less than 10K and people who haven't even gotten their first client. What's the start stop cycle? The start stop cycle is when you're starting to get leads, maybe you're running ads, maybe you're posting in Facebook groups, right? You're in a group like this. Maybe you're going out and networking outside, you're networking at your chamber of commerce, you're just somewhere offline, right? And you're starting to get leads. Then you get leads come in, and now you got sales calls. That's great, that's a good thing. Now you got your sales calls, now you're closing. You're closing, that's perfect, it's amazing. After you close somebody, you get the money to come in, now you're stuck in fulfillment. See, it's really a start, stuck, stop. <laughs> or, or start, stop, stuck. I don't know. Which one of those, uh, whichever one you like, that's the one it is. When I say stuck, I mean that you're stuck in the fulfillment part of your business. You've gotten somebody, you got leads, you're making sales, but now you're stuck in the fulfillment. Now you're stuck fulfilling this clientele that you have, so you're not getting new leads. You're not getting new revenue. You're missing meetings, right? And now you probably you might even oversold yourself and you got too many clients, then you know what to do with. So now you're stuck. Because maybe with those new clients, you're back at making between ten thousand to fifteen thousand, maybe even twenty thousand. I'll I'll get that over to you. You might even go from ten thousand to twenty thousand, but you can't sustain it. Either your retainer clients leave or you get done with the project and now you you close everybody at the same time so you complete all the projects at around the same time and that means the revenue dips now you're back scrambling for new leads scrambling for sales calls trying to find new people if this resonates with you even if you're watching the replay i want you to put a uh, uh, start stop in the comments let me know and let everybody else know because it's important people hear that it's not just one person that's going through this it's not just one person that's dealing with this dealing with this right Star stuff cycle is, is um, unfortunately a big part of entrepreneurship. You got to go through it. But how are you going to be able to get to where you want to go? You don't want to just make a, a couple thousand dollars a month. You don't want to just make two thousand dollars. You don't want to just make five thousand. You don't want to just make ten thousand. You want to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. You want to hit the seven figure mark. It takes more than just getting leads and getting sales and getting clients to make that happen. You need a system. You need a process. You need a, a confirmed way of doing something. You need a confirmed way of getting stuff done. Because if you don't have a process, you don't have anything to do, quite frankly. You don't have a business, quite frankly. I learned that uh, really, really young into my entrepreneurship journey. If you don't have a system and a process, you don't have a business. Because a business is a set of systems, but you deserve that. You deserve a business, you deserve a process, you deserve a way of being able to not only get clients, service those clients, but then be able to get more clients all at the same time. Because whenever you worked at a job, then they always have more work for you when you came back. When you came back Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, you had more work. Why? Because the business never sleeps even though you weren't working. You get that? If you caught that, put caught that in the comments, okay? If you caught that, when you used to work at a job, okay, did the business stop because you didn't come into work the next day? Did the business stop because you went on vacation? It didn't. Did the company you work for, did it stop working because somebody went on vacation? Unlikely, especially if it's a really huge company, okay? That is how your business needs to be. If you feel like that, 
put that's what I want in the comments. Because the important part is you're not going to be able to get there unless you start now to put in the correct systems. And more important, and more than that, I can tell you for a fact, you're losing money when you don't put in systems. How do I know you're losing money? I wish I'm on my phone right now. I will show you guys my phone. But I'm, I want y'all to bring out your calculators because we're going to do some math, just some quick math. It's going to be easy, man. I'm going to show you how and why you're losing money every single time. You're spending time doing something you shouldn't have been doing, okay? Doing something that could have been outsourced that you could have automated. See, now we're going to be talking about the power of automation and why it works for every single business and why every business has to do it. I asked a question earlier. I asked somebody earlier, what comes to mind when you think about automation? And they said expensive. And I was like, I know, I understand that. It seems like that, but let me tell you how expensive not having automation, not having a system, not having a process. I'm gonna show you how expensive lack of automation is gonna, gonna be for you, okay? This is what I want you to do. Take, however, find out how much you made last year in 2021. We're gonna do easy math, okay? Find out how much money you made in 2021. For the purpose of this conversation, I'm gonna say 150,000. Okay, 150,000, that's like what, 12, a little over 12,000 a month or something like that. Let me, let me see, 150,000 divided by 12. Yep, 12,500, so let's say that's how much you make, okay? Now, we're gonna take 150,000. Easy math, y'all, easy, easy, easy. Divide that by 2,080. Not in your head, right, do it on a calculator. I'm gonna show you how much money you're losing right now. So divide 150,000 by 2,080. Why 2,080? That's how many hours the average person works a year. If you work 40 hours a week, 52 weeks out of the year. It's 2,080 hours. That's the average amount of hours people work. All right? So now you're going to get $72, okay? For me, I got $72. Whatever your number is, that's your number. And you can post in the comments too, especially if you're watching the replay. I'd be super curious. What's your number? Take your yearly revenue divided by 2,080. I got $72 an hour, okay? Now imagine you're wasting 10 hours a week, just 10 hours a week on something you shouldn't have been doing, on following up with customers when you don't need to follow up with customers, on uh, trying to send out emails and handling support requests, things you shouldn't have been doing. It's a lot, very likely you're spending 10 hours a week, and that's a minimum. I know people who spend a lot more on, on things they just don't need to be worrying about. So now we're gonna take $72, oh, I'm sorry, we're gonna take that 10 hours, 10 hours a week times 52 weeks of the year, that's 520 hours. I want you to multiply 72 times 520. And if 72 isn't your number, it's whatever your number is. For, for us, for people watching, it's $72. If we do 72 times 520 hours, right, 10 hours times 52 weeks out of the year, we get 37,440. That's how much money you lose, not automating. Kind of crazy, right? Kind of crazy, right? That's how much money you're losing. That's how much money you don't have with you. That's how much money you're not even paying attention to. You don't realize you're spending it out of the door. But it doesn't work. It doesn't work when you do that. Thirty? Can you $37,440, that's like the average amount people make in a year. And that's how much you're spending, that's how much you're losing your business. Not spending, that's how much you're losing in your business. Divide that number by 12. Every month, can you imagine every single month you're losing $3,000? Because that's how much you lose when you don't have a system, a process, or you automate anything. Let me tell y'all something. Automating does not have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be expensive, but even if you have to spend $20, $30, even $100. That's $100 a month that's going to help you save $3,000 a month. Would that be worth it to you? If you could save $3,000 by only spending $100, would you do that? Now, let me ask you this. Let, let me give you a scenario. Imagine you're somebody in 2021, okay? And you hire me to come optimize all the things you got going on, okay? 
you come and look at succeeding with systems you look at our courses our material and you start to use it in order to optimize and automate your business put in systems that will allow you to make more money while spending less time in your business now let's say you put all that together and let's say at the time you're only making 15 grand but now you put in automation and automation alone not because you got new customers not because you got new clients what if you were able to put automation in your business in november of 2021 where you were before automation you were only making 15 ish k a month and then in less than 60 days by the end of the year december 31st you had eighty thousand dollars in the bank you were able to more than triple your business all with automation, not because you had more customers. In fact, you had less customers, but you were able to triple your business. That's exactly what I was able to do for one of my clients. And I was able to help them. Oh, let me put some light in here, y'all. Uh, I was able to help him make more money from less customers using automation in less than 60 days. And I can guarantee you, when I told him, I said, hey, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I think you're missing. I did a full audit. He was so upset. He was so upset because I showed him all of the leakage, all of the ways he was losing money. The first thing he told me after he watched that audit, he said, Kadira, you have done what nobody else has done for us in the past two years. And you have probably helped me save. In the moment you gave me this audit, he said, you have probably helped me save $200,000. He said, I can't, he said, I fear thinking about how much money I lost how much money we've lost over the past two years. See, many people don't know how much they're losing because they don't really sit down to do the numbers. But if you just realize how much how much time you're spending doing things that you shouldn't be doing, all the manual stuff, you deserve a life where you can go out to a lake, you can go out to the beach, you can go take a, a plane trip, you can go hang out with your husband, you can go hang out with your children, you can go hang out with your friends without having to worry. Let me tell y'all something. I just got back from hanging out with my best friend and my godchildren just for a couple of hours. We went to the library. We went to uh, go do some thrift shopping. We were just having a little fun. And she calls me randomly. She's like, hey, do you want to come with us? Just out of the blue. I was in the middle of working, but I said, you know what? Yeah, sure, I'll come. And while I was in the middle of hanging out, holding my godson, while they're getting a library card for the first time. Um, I got a bunch of hits on my phone about new leads that were coming in because I had just automated the process. I actually just scheduled some stuff out while she left. I mean, uh, before, before we all left out. I scheduled some emails. I scheduled some text messages for my CRM. And I was starting to get some responses back and I was getting some new leads. I was sitting down on my computer. I literally just got back. I kid you not, maybe a half hour ago. And I'm still getting new leads. I, I got a sale rambling over the weekend. I didn't I didn't even know who it was from. But I just woke up, so I saw the strike notification. I'm like, oh wow, cool. A new lead, a new customer. And I didn't have to work hard for it. I slept in on Sunday. Those are my sleep in days. Okay. That's what you deserve. This is what automation does for you. I just showed you how you're likely losing between 28 to 30, if not more, thousands of dollars per year because you're not automating. Automating doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be uh, 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 scary either. People think that can be scary. People think they turn into a robot. They turn into a robot. Okay. And they think that it's going to turn them into something that they don't want to be. I'm going to tell you this right now. That's not what it does. It gives you freedom. If you want to be free, not just from not from your business you want to be free because of your business see some of you are so stuck in the day-to-day -day of your companies you fear your business so you want freedom from your business but you should be being you should be able to get freedom because of your business do you understand me does that make sense you want freedom from your business when you should be able to get freedom because of your business See, if you want freedom from your business, you built yourself a jail. Just going to be honest with you. You built yourself a jail. I hate to hear that. I hate to say that. I hate to have to be the one to tell you that. But if you want freedom from your business, you built yourself a jail. 
But a lot of people do that and they don't know how they got there. What's more important is how are you going to get out of it? How are you going to go from being in jail to having the freedom you've always wanted, which is why you went into business in the first place? You wanted freedom. You wanted financial freedom. You wanted time freedom. Maybe you wanted location freedom. You wanted to be able to do whatever you wanted to do. Automation, systems, and processes, it's the only way you're going to get there. Okay? It's the only way you're going to get there. And it's the only proven way to get there. Now, let me also tell you something that's, uh, I want to tell you this too. One of the other reasons people don't want to implement automation is because it does take some time to get there. It's, it's uh, ironically enough, automation is automatic because you have to take the time to put it in there. You have to take the time to figure out where you're at. You have to take time to figure out what do you actually need. See, that's what we teach at succeedingwithsystems.com. Okay, click the link if you're interested in it. But at succeedingwithsystems.com, we teach and help you get everything you need so you can start putting real systems and processes in your business. Whether you need hiring job descriptions, whether you need sales tracking material, whether you need uh, uh, books on scaling and automation, we have it all. But one of the things I'm super excited about is teaching people how to use this app called Zapier. See, I haven't mentioned it before because some people may have heard of Zapier, but you don't know really what it does. What it does is it supercharges your life. It gives you a superpower. And I don't own Zapier, by the way. That's not my thing. All I do is teach you how to leverage it and use it. I use Zapier, and that's how I was able to triple my client's uh, business from $15,000 a month to $80,000 cash and over $100,000 in revenue. You understand me? 80 k cash in the bank and $100,000 revenue. Do you understand me? It was using Zapier. It was using automation. It was systems. It was processes. If you know you need a system in your business to help you scale and to really sometimes to help you start, put systems in the comments because that's the only way you're going to be able to get to where you want to go. You need a process because you need a map. You need somebody to help you make that map. You need somebody that's going to be able to be on your team. That's my point of these live videos. That's the point of me coming in here and coming in front of y'all. Because I want you to have what I didn't have when I was just getting started. I got started in just digital marketing, but I was just getting clients. Um, I was hustling to get referrals. I mean, I, I was doing all this stuff. It took me a couple of years to get here. Now y'all have the ability to learn it just being right here. Taking action is the key to this. There's a link in the description. There's a link in the comments. There's a link somewhere in this video. You need to click it. You need to check it out. You need to see how you can supercharge your life so you can automate your way to freedom. Okay? Now we got a couple of minutes. I don't think we have too many people on the live that much anymore. So I'll take the rest of the time just to kind of show you all a little bit or tell you all a little bit more about why succeeding with systems is going to be the key for you. Because that's why I named it succeeding with systems. I didn't want to name it, you know, something else. <laughs> I don't want to name it, you know, how to do, be an automator. It's, it's not about that. It's not about being an automator. It's not about um, any of that, honestly. You want to be able to be successful. You need to go to a place that's going to allow you all of everything that you need. My goal with succeeding with systems, with SWS, is to give you all the power that you need to scale your way to freedom. Because here's something else. I'm going to throw this out there. And most of y'all might hit, might miss it. And it's okay. I'm going to keep repeating it. I'm going to come back. This is not my first time here. And it's not going to be my last time. Okay? There's going to be more people who retire in the next 20 years than there ever has been in the history of humankind. And a lot of those people who are retiring have businesses. Technically. But most of them don't have real businesses. Why do I say that? Okay? I say that. Because And hey, Tina. Tina said, you go, girl. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I so appreciate that. Look, um, most people don't have a real business. Something that can work outside of them. And a lot of these people who are planning on retiring, unfortunately, a lot of them aren't going to really be able to retire. Because they're going to want to sell their businesses or, 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 or just get you know, royalty checks from it. But their business only works when the owner's there. You don't want a business that only works because you're there. I used to work for a guy. He was like 40 years old. I used to intern. I was intern for him for like two years. It was a marketing agency when I was in college. And 
there was me, there was one other full-time, and there was a part-time person. But the business squarely ran because he was there. It didn't run because I was there. It didn't run because the uh, full-time person was there. It ran because the owner was there. That means he didn't have breaks at all. Even when he tried to go on vacation, he was so available to us. It was as if, it's like, you might as well just stay home if you're going to be working like this. You know, sometimes you got to work on a vacation to get the tax write off. Not a CPA, I'm just saying. But he was so uh, on working. He didn't have a family. So this was his thing. He didn't have children. He was single. Um, so he could do that. But a lot of y'all watching, you're married. You're in a long-term relationship. You have children. You have other responsibilities. You have other people counting on you. You don't have time to just be uh, 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 just in your business all the time. I know you love it. I know it's your, your passion. But at SucceedingWithSystems.com, that's why it's, it was created. Because you need to be able to scale your way to freedom, automate your way to freedom. You need to be able to give time back to yourself. Because it's not even just about your family. It's about you. You personally. You, Tina. Right? You, Christy. Right? Right? You, Megan. It's about you and your ability to enjoy your life. We only got one life. Why would you want to spend it doing things you don't want to do? Automate it. Outsource it. Create a system. Create a process that'll work for you. All right? I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed this video. This has been a pleasure. I'm going to be back probably next week, same time. We're going to work out the time, see what works for everybody else who's watching. This is your time. Go to succeedingwithsisters.com. Click the link wherever it is in this video. I want you to check it out and I want you to see how you can start to supercharge your life and supercharge your business so you can start to automate your way to freedom. My name is Kadira Muhammad of SucceedingWithSystems.com, your systems implementation engineer. I'll see you guys in the next live video. Have a good one.